Hey guys, so in this video, I just want to show you a quick video on adding a return policy and or an order and shipping policy to your Wix site. So the first thing you want to do is click on edit site. Once your page loads, you're going to select the plus button here and you're going to click on, um, I'm sorry, you're going to click on not the plus button, but the menus and pages button. Once you get to menus and page, so you're going to scroll down towards the bottom and you're going to click on add page. Once you add the page, you don't really need to use any of these here. You can just click on blank page. And once you click on blank page, it's going to create or open up a blank page for you. And what I normally do is you can just click on the, this time you will click on the little um, plus button here, and then you can just name it. Um, I'm just going to say for this example, you can just rename it return policy. And done. And then from what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to bring this all the way down towards the bottom of the page. So I'm sorry. So you're going to um, click on the little three buttons here. And once you have it, just click on hide. So that's the first thing we're going to do. You know what? Um, I'm going to do. A, I'll just show you this first. And then so then from this point, this is our blank page right now that I have hidden. I'm going to go into the elements again or add elements. And I'm going to click on text. And I'm just going to select heading, just something basic for right now. As an example, you don't have to use this heading. You can use whatever heading you want. Open that up a bit. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and put, um, I'm just going to title it return policy. And you don't have to make it that large. And so from there, I'm going to add another text. I'm going to go back to add elements. And then I'll just pick um, a text like something smaller. So I'll just use this again. This is just an example. And then from here, um, you can put whatever you want as your return policy. Um, I have two sites. So I have my body sculpting site and then I have my soaps. So let's just say I um, want to, okay, for this example. So in my body sculpting uh, products, it's one of, so a few of my body sculpting products that I do have are um, like backboards and or Phone boards for people that have had like tummy tucks or so forth. So I obviously would not take that item back because that's just not sanitary. So would not take that back. So that is something where I would go in and just add a text here regarding that. So no returns on this item. No return. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm just going to keep that like this. And then from here, once I add in my, my return policy, but for this example, I always like to have that information towards the bottom of my page. So it doesn't really give, um, it's just not, so you don't have so much clutter up here. So once you've added in your return policy from here, I'm going to go to back to my um, add elements. And once I'm in um, add elements, this time I'm going to click on titles and then I'm going to use small title. Um, you can use whatever one you want, but just do something small, not too big. So I'm going to click on small title. And then from here, I'm just going to drag this down towards the bottom. And I'm going to name this text return policy. And because I want to link this page, although it's hidden, I want to link this page to my return policy. I'm going to highlight here. I'm going to highlight return policy. I'm going to click on this link button here. And then I'm going to go to my page where it says which page. You're going to click on this arrow going down and you're going to find your return policy, which is the page that I'm on right now. Once I do that, I'm going to press done and be sure you save. All right. And then from here, um, I can click on publish. I'm not going to publish it right now because I actually need to actually update a return policy. So once you publish this information, um, and you go into your page. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let me go ahead and create my return policy so I can show you guys exactly how it appears. Okay, I actually did another one. I wanted to do an orders and shipping so you kind of can see um, how it would appear. So I don't believe in that last um, snip that I had. It showed the actual link part. So um, within orders and shipping, so this is like another one that I have. Within the orders and shipping, once I've added in my policy, I'm going to go here to add elements. And then this time I'm going to find titles. 
sorry. And then once I go to titles, I'm going to use small titles or small title. And then I'm going to bring this title down. So you already see my return policy. So I'm going to name it order orders and shipping. And then from here, I'm going to highlight orders and shipping. I'm going to click on the link button and I'll be sure to choose the page. So which page under my pages, which page I'll select the drop down. And then within the drop down, I'm going to find my order and shipping page. Click on that. And then I'm going to click on done. When I do that, you will see now that this little green bar here is showing, which means that the page has been linked. And then um, once you, uh, I'm always for kicks and giggles, I always save again. And then, although it auto saves, I still do it. And then don't forget to publish. Publish, um, you can go on your site and you'll, you'll be able to see your orders and shipping as well as a return policy and or whatever other pages you want. This is always good to have again if you need to add in your orders and shipping as well as your return policy on your Wix site. Um, once I go to my website um, towards the bottom, once I scroll down towards the bottom, then I'll see my return policy, my orders and shipping, and then my blog. I just named it Goodreads. So my blog. So it'll be at the bottom of my page. So that's how you add your return policy, orders and shippings, whatever you decide if you want to add your blog post down towards the bottom of whatever you want to add. This is how you would add those links um, to your website. I hope this helped. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below.